Hello dear learners, I welcome you all to the MCQ session from BCP from the chapter Proteins. We are on part 1 from Proteins wherein we will go through few of the MCQs along with the explanation which is the characteristic feature of pharmacy info line wherein you will get the MCQs with explanation. So to start with the question 1 from Proteins part 1. The question is, all protein contains the, whether all protein contains the same 20 amino acid, whether they contain different amino acid, whether they contain 300 amino acids occurring in the nature or only a few amino acids, which amongst the given is the correct answer. You can put your uh, answer in the comment box and you can verify your answer after the explanation for each question till the end of the video. So come on put your answers fast in the comment box. All protein contains dash. We will go for the explanation. Now the amino acids are building blocks of protein as you can see here and we all know that amino acids are building blocks of protein like various monomers in carbohydrates unite to form polymers like polysaccharides. The same way here Amino acids are also the building blocks of proteins wherein 20 kinds of free amino acids are there which exist in the protein. So the amino acids are as you can see here there are few amino acids which are acidic in nature, aliphatic in nature, aromatic in nature, basic in nature or they are essential or non-essential. So, few of them I will take the names like essentials like isoleucine, leucine, valine and non-essentials are if you can see all other amino acids are like phenylalanine is there, tryptophan is there, tyrosine is there, cysteine is there, valine is there, other, all others are there. So, these are various amino acid which are there in the protein. So, the correct answer is it is same 20 amino acids. 20 amino acids bit here and there they contains all these 20 amino acids in the protein. Next question is proteins contain dash whether they contain only L alpha amino acid, whether they contain only D amino acid, whether they contain DL amino acid or both A and B both L alpha amino acid and D amino acid which amongst the given is correct come on put your answers in the comment box fast protein contains we will go for the explanation protein contains see here the protein contains only L alpha amino acids whereas the peptide contains both D as well as L alpha amino acids so the correct answer is it is protein contains only L alpha amino acid. So this is the difference proteins and peptides. Next question is optically inactive amino acids amongst the given is dash. Whether the optically inactive amino acid is glycine, <coughs> whether it is serine, whether it is threonine or valine. You can put your answer in the comment section. Till that we will go for the explanation. Now optically active is what is having chiral carbon and optically inactive is what not having chiral carbon. So if you will see here serine threonine valine which you can find there is a chiral carbon. What is chiral carbon? All the four substituents are different but if you will consider glycine that is having two substituents same in case of glycine. So, it is an achiral carbon. So, the correct answer is it is glycine. Optically inactive amino acid among the given is glycine. All others are optically active. Next question is, at neutral pH, the mixture of amino acids in solution would be predominantly. Now, when the amino acids are in solution form, at neutral pH, they exist, whether they exist as dipolar ions, Non-polar molecules, positive and monovalent or hydrophobic. Which amongst the given is the correct answer? 
you can judge your answer and you can put it in the comment section we will go for the explanation now at neutral ph if you will see the solution of amino acid here in it is this is low ph wherein cationic form is predominant high ph wherein anionic form is predominant and at neutral ph both the forms exist that is positive as well as negative which is bitter ion so the correct answer is it is dipolar two poles positive and negative so at neutral ph in the solution form <coughs> it exists as dipolar ions next question is the true statement about the solutions of amino acids at physiological ph is dash solution of amino acid at physiological ph whether all amino acids contain both positive and negative charges all amino acid contains positively charged side chain some amino acids contains only positive charge all amino acids contain negatively charged side chain which among the given is correct regarding the amino acid solutions at physiological ph you can put your answer in the comment section we will go for the explanation now these lysine arginine histidine aspartic acid okay this amino acids now if you will see all amino acids contains both positive and negative charges you can see here okay negative charge positive charge okay both the charges are seen all amino acids contain both positive as well as negative charges next question is the sulfur containing amino acid is dash amongst the given whether the sulfur containing amino acid is methionine leucine valine or aspartame which amongst the given is a sulfur containing amino acid now in amino acids in the very first question we have seen there are few amino acid which contain sulfur which which are acidic which are basic and so on so the sulfur containing amino acids if you will see it is methionine and cysteine cis for sulfur so these contain sulfur in them which you can see in the structure okay so the correct answer is it is methionine leucine valine aspartame are not sulfur containing amino acid next question is an aromatic amino acid is dash amongst the given whether it is lysine tyrosine taurine or arginine which amongst the given is an aromatic amino acid it is very simple question you can put your answer in the comment section fast now aromatic amino acid if you will see these are phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan now why aromatic because these contains the phenyl ring in their structure if you will see okay so these are the aromatic amino acids the correct answer is it is tyrosine phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan next question is an essential amino acid in man is dash amongst the given whether an essential amino acid is aspartate tyrosine methionine or serine which among the given is an essential amino acid you can put your answer in the comment section here essential amino acids are nothing but the amino acids which which are required in very minute quantities the essential amino acids and which are specifically not synthesized in the body okay so essential amino acids include all these amino acids isoleucine leucine lysine valine methionine phenylalanine tryptophan threonine histidine and arginine are histidine arginine are semi essential so you can remember them with a trick i love lucy very much please try to help arginine i for isoleucine love for leucine lucky for lysine very for valine and so on so the correct answer among the given is it is methionine okay much for methionine next question is non essential amino acids are dash whether they are not components of tissue proteins whether they may be synthesized in the body from essential amino acids or they have no role in the metabolism or may be synthesized in the body 
in disease state what amongst the given is true you can put your answer in the comment section non essential amino acids if you will see the trick to remember or the mnemonic is it is almost all the girls go crazy after getting taken from shopping so a stands for alanine a second a for asparagine and so on so non essential amino acids if you will see our cell can synthesize non essential amino acid so probably Uh, this essential you know that they are not synthesized in the body but there are chances that they may be synthesized in the body from the essential amino acids next question is which one of the following is semi essential amino acid for humans whether the semi essential amino acid is valine arginine lysine or tyrosine now in uh, previous questions we have seen the two semi essential amino acids now you can put your answer in the comment section we will go for the explanation the semi essential amino acids these are nothing but arginine histidine why because they can be synthesized by adults but not by the growing children hence they are semi essential amino acid as you all know essential amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body but these are called semi essential because they are synthesized by adult but not by growing children so such amino acids are arginine histidine okay so the correct answer is it is arginine next question is a ketogenic amino acid is dash whether a ketogenic amino acid is valine cysteine leucine or threonine now to you can put your answer in the comment section till that we will go for the explanation now ketogenic amino acid what is ketogenic amino acid glucogenic and ketogenic forms are there so the ketogenic is nothing but it is an essential lysine and leucine amino acid as it is dependent on the functional groups like keto and gluco aldehyde okay so the ketogenic amino acid is it is leucine and lysine which you can see here next question is an amino acid not found in proteins is dash whether the amino acid which is not found in protein is beta alanine proline lysine or histidine which amongst the given amino acid is not found in protein you can put your answer in the comment box till that we will go for the explanation now if you will see the amino acid not found in protein is nothing but beta alanine which is also known as 3 amino propanoic acid if you will look into the structure it is a non essential amino acid which is the only naturally occurring beta amino acid whereas it is different from alanine it is beta alanine which is a non proteinogenic amino acid not acting as a building block of protein so this is beta alanine the correct answer is it is beta alanine which is not found in proteins which is not acting as a building block for the proteins with this we finish with few of the mcqs from proteins stay tuned with us on pharmacy info line for further parts of the protein and many more mcq videos with explanation thank you